Everyone's been telling me that my videos are irrelevant and I should start doing a last month in review series the same way that most of the other large YouTubers do. But that seemed too easy. So this morning I went to the market and I bought myself this time machine so that I can go forward a few months and bring you news that hasn't happened yet. So uh, let's see if this thing works. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Wow, you wouldn't believe the things I've just seen. So join me, ladies and gentlemen, as I take you through next month on YouTube. Welcome to Next Month on YouTube with your host, Bad Beanie. Kavos has demanded an apology from every man, woman and child, living or dead, for criticising him. His recent six-part series attacking a woman at Boots for saying that Red Bull wasn't part of the £3 meal deal was met with mixed reception. That kind of reception was unacceptable to the lisping hate spewing fart box and has sworn vengeance on us all. When we caught up with Kavos, he had this to say. Everyone on earth owes me an apology for having an opinion, and I'll be making videos attacking every single one of them, starting with why Elizabeth Barthroy of Hungary should be stopped, and once I've finished with the 15th century Hungarian Countess, I'll start working through 17th century philosophers. So John Locke, Voltaire, and Francis Bacon, consider yourselves on notice. Strong words, Kavos. And we questioned him further. He said he'd take down the videos if they apologise, and then demanded I apologise for asking questions about what he's doing. He's now working on This Video Will Make You Hate Bad Beanie and will be out sometime next week. I asked him not to, and then he demanded an apology for asking him not to do things. Oh, whingy little twat. Jack Mate and Stephen Tries are now the first openly trans Gervais couple on YouTube. The two have been trying to transform themselves into Ricky Gervais for several years now. The signs have been there for a while as they've been copying Ricky Gervais' comedy style, comedic timing, script writing, and last month Jack even changed his channel name to Ricky Mate. The couple came out openly recently, and when we interviewed Stephen, he had this to say to us. Deep inside, I felt like there was something different about me. And once I started making YouTube videos, I realized there wasn't, so I went about copying Ricky Gervais instead. When we interviewed Jack, he said, I'm so happy I don't have to be something I'm not anymore. I've spent too long pretending I'm unique, and now I can openly pretend to be someone else. Oop, self-deprecating, edgy, postmodern comedy. This might go over your heads. Mmm. Edgy humour, Jack, and now we can give you an exclusive right here on next month on YouTube. After weeks of fertility treatment, the happy couple are now trying for a series of unsuccessful TV programmes that are okay, but will never be considered as good as The Office. And it seems like the Fine Bros are back to their old tricks again. In early 2016, they had the nerve to claim they invented reaction videos and tried to demand 30% of all money made by other reaction channels. The visually repugnant creatures were forced to back down after universal criticism and went back to creating low effort mediocre crap barely worthy of sharing on Instagram, let alone on YouTube. But it seems the bug eyed aquatic YouTube stars have reinvented themselves and are now claiming they own all animation after one of them drew a stick man with a big smiley face. When interviewed, the one that looks like Admiral Akbar from Star Wars said, I put up this drawing two days ago on Facebook and it was liked by four people. So clearly we've popularised the genre, it's important that we protect our income and that everyone knows that we're here just for the money. Just ghastly. But when I asked him if it was really right to claim an entire genre, he told me the question was a trap. He then scuttled back to his cave, where he ate three raw fish and started muttering about needing to take out the Death Star. And we here at Next Month in Review can't wait to see what these two stalk-eyed pork scratchings try and take credit for next. And it seems the self-indulgent prankster and buzzword regurgitator FoosyTube has made himself the centre of attention again. Of course he has. Does anyone ever remember a time where this weasel wasn't trying to make himself the centre of attention? Honestly, this guy makes me miss the days where YouTube was nothing but cat videos. I digress. FoosyTube has lashed out at people that say he's full of crap by releasing a 25 minute video where he covered being humble, having nothing but love in his heart, and then went on to list 20 different people that he'd like to smash in the face with a hammer. The video didn't go down that well, so he's changed his name to Sunflower McHoffenhoffen and claims that anything he did under the name FoosyTube had nothing to do with him. 
He claims that Sunflower McHoffenhoffen is humble and down to earth, and that on Tuesday he will collaborate with Chuck Norris, Jesus, Lionel Messi and Donald Trump in the greatest event on earth. When we hear it next month on YouTube, ask the celebrities, none of them knew anything about it. Donald Trump had even blocked him on Twitter, calling Fousey a desperate and appalling attention seeker who will stop at nothing to take over the world. But like all former YouTubers, he's made some songs and is trying to pass it off as music in a desperate attempt to stay relevant. His new album, Nothing But Love and Peace, is available as of next week, and his new single, Keemstar is a go f himself should be out on iTunes later on today. If you're wondering why I'm using crude drawings instead of actual footage, it's because he has a reputation for claiming all videos that even have a photo of him, and I don't want that self-indulgent god of ritual frenzy and Drake concerts to make any money out of me. I don't even like the fact I'm acknowledging his existence at all. I wanted to show you a video of him going full Britney on, a, on top of a car, but I've been forced to use this reconstruction instead. This dude's tripping. You! Watching his videos is like watching a baked potato playing an angel in a school nativity play, and I want nothing to do with him. Content creators are still reeling from the recent event known as Active Ellipse. YouTube recently made changes so that only active subscribers would be included in your subscriber count, causing panic and terror through the YouTube community. But there is some good news. PewDiePie is planning a 1,000 subscriber celebration on live stream. When we caught up with the former YouTube sensation, he had this to say. I'm delighted that I've reached nearly a thousand subscribers again, and I'm hoping when I do, YouTube will review my channel for monetization. I'm hoping when they do that, I will get Brad 1 and 2 back. I really miss them, and I don't know how to copy and paste on Premiere Pro. Is it Control and C like everything else? And how do you do the twirly face thing? I don't understand any of it. I need to get an editor. For the love of God, will somebody please edit my videos? I've had to start training my dog Edgar to search Reddit for content. I don't understand how YouTubing works anymore. And what in God's name is a thumbnail? If I don't get help soon, I'm gonna give this all up and get myself a nice job working at the lovely cafe by the beach. Well, you hang in there, Pewds. Once you reach a thousand subscribers again, I'm sure those offers will come flying in. Colossal is crazy has managed to excite the internet as he's revealed that his next video will be ready by March 2020. As many of you already know, Colossal is crazy is seen by many as the most talented content creator on YouTube, despite the fact that his channel only has 10 videos on it. <laughs> Quite the knee slapper. He says the latest video is a masterpiece and is going to be the start of an ongoing series. And we have the exclusive right here on next month on YouTube. We actually managed to get him to spill the beans and can reveal that the video is going to be a 60 minute expose on who he thinks will win between England and Panama. We here at next month on YouTube cannot wait to see the results. We already know it's going to be of the highest quality and we can only hope that he manages to finish in the entire World Cup series before he dies of old age. Twitch have caused quite the stir lately by making changes to their terms of service. They've been heavily criticised in the past for giving preferential treatment to girls that choose provocative clothing and mindless behaviour over making good content, but have finally decided that enough is enough and so have brought in changes to make things fair for everybody. Any girl who masturbates on stream will no longer be given shares in the company, but will still automatically be made Twitch partner. Thank you for the donations, guys. Get the whole bottle in there. Males who show too much wheelchair in their streams will now have a 30-day ban instead of the original seven. And anyone who criticizes the decision clearly hates women and will therefore receive an automatic ban. And although some males will still be unhappy about it, we here on Next Month on YouTube welcome these tough new measures. Twitch is supposed to be a chance to show the world what you're capable of, and nothing says that quite like having an IRL section that looks like the premium section of Pornhub. So congratulations on these brave new changes, Twitch. We can only hope that your non-gaming slash chatterbait for kids business model is a roaring success. 
Right, well that's it from me, I've reached 10 minutes. So join me next time when I'll complain that every lazy social commentator that releases videos daily have stolen my ideas and jokes word for word. They won't be able to look themselves in the mirror, but that's the price they've chosen to pay for trying to release videos daily and sacrificing all acceptable levels of integrity and quality. Now if you excuse me, I'm going back in time to stop KSI joining Team 10. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then I've successfully changed time. Bye everyone! The things I do for views... Thank you for the bits! I'm break this, she's going to murder me. Pain is beauty, Beanie. Pain is beauty! My milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard and they're like, it better than yours. Hello there, I'm Bad Beanie and today I'm going to give myself fluffy boobs. The best thing about being a woman is using t-shirts to give yourself bigger tits, yeah. Well, I can honestly say that was a low point in my life. <laughs>